Hello, blooming lovers. Hello. Today, Gordon brought a dog that is in a pretty, pretty bad condition. And as you can see, he is very, very matted. He has all of the dreads. And guys, he is also blind, as you can see. She found him on the post on Facebook. Uh, from the town called Sombor, which is an hour and a half driving from my city. And she went to pick him up and here he is in my salon. But the, oh, the saddest thing is that he has a microchip. And I'm not going to show you the number, but We realized he has a microchip and we called the vet and sent them the number of the chip and they gave us the phone number of his owner and we saw that his name is Lucky. He's 10 years old. He hasn't been vaccinated from 2016 and from 2015 and then we called the owner and we told him like, do you know that your dog is missing? The owner's an older person, but he said, yeah, I realized that he wasn't here for like two weeks. I don't know where he is. And we were like, he is here in our city. And like, do you want us to bring the dog back to you after we finish the groom and stuff? And he was like, didn't you realize that he, he is blind? So he does not want him because of that, even though he's been there for like 10 years. And yeah, we, we argued with him, asked him like, would you leave your child if your child was he <laughs> blind and stuff like that. But guys, it's better if we don't get the dog back to him. I will be also told him like, do you see the condition your dog is in? And he was like, yeah, he does not allow me to groom him. He wants to bite me. And we also realized that he has some ticks and we decided not to give him back because he's going to end up who knows where if, he get, if we get him back. Just poor dog. Luckily, some people saw him and at least posted a picture on Facebook. Cordana said that she would pick him up and they saved him over the night. So he is here today. So we can give him the groom and then take him to the veterinarian. Uh, and the person who kept him overnight um, said that he was trying to cut some of these dreads off and that he really did react like kind of aggressively and also when he was trying to lift him. And that is understandable because this dog is blind and this dog does not know us. So even though he allowed us to touch him, to huddle him, we're going to give him some food. I mean, we already did, but he looks really hungry. <laughs> Lucky. Lucky. We're not going to give him too much. And after we finish the groom and the veterinarian, we're going to take him to the place called Kovil. That is a place like one, like half an hour driving from my city where we keep all of our dogs that we save until they find <clears throat> a new home. And he's going to live inside and also have the backyard so he can walk and chill out there. This dog does not need a lot. He's an old dog. He just need protection from fleas and ticks, food, some food, and, you know, just a little space. 
and I think that he's going to do great. I'm also going to give him some water. Sunny is going to. So Gordon is amazing for helping these dogs. Although she has 25 dogs in her house and who knows how many that she pays an accommodation for. She always, she always responds when there is a dog that needs help. So I'm going to leave her Facebook profile where you can see her work and her, her PayPal account if, if you want to help her out. And that's it. He allows me to touch him. See, he's not reacting at all, but uh, yeah, he is very skinny. I can feel his spine and just want to take a picture of him lying, laying here. Okay, not lucky. And because those people who kept him overnight said that he can react a little bit aggressively, even though I think that he is a great dog, I'm going to put this plastic thing over his head just in case. Okay, so we had some trouble putting this on, but okay, hey, lucky. Now I want to hold his head here so he cannot turn around, although he cannot bite me. Okay, lucky. Okay, we're going to let him chill down a little bit. Yeah, this way he can breathe normally. And just want to make this a little bit tighter because it was very loose. He can breathe normally. He can paint, but he cannot bite. We're going to take it easy, but I, I also don't want this to last for too long. Let him sniff the clipper. <laughs> Not interested. <laughs> Touch him with the clipper a little bit. Touch him. Was 
So guys, please, before you get a dog, make sure that you have everything that is needed for that dog. And as you can see, this dog is blind. That is something that can happen. This is a tick. Another one. So he has some more ticks and I'm going to explain how to get the tick out when I found the next one. And these dogs <clears throat> are normally not that easy to adopt. He's an older dog, an older and blind dog. Hmm? Uh -huh. Yeah, he's showing his teeth. You know, these parts are the most matted ones. Okay, I'm going to take the shorter blade. Psst. Okay, this is not going to be an easy job. You just have to get it done. Yeah, this is not a joke, he's definitely reacting very aggressively, but, okay, let's let him chill down a little bit. Okay, we let him chill out, but, <clears throat> she's just not stopping to react aggressively. I don't think that he is in pain. They were dog, <clears throat> dogs in much work, worse condition that didn't react like that. I think that he's just not used to all of this and
we just don't know what to do. You know, the biggest problem is that he is old. And that is very complicated to sedate a dog that is very old. So we're just going to try to make friends with him a little bit more. But then we're going to call the vet. Like you can see, as soon as we touch him, he's showing his teeth. And even though he cannot bite from this thing, he is trying like crazy. And we did everything good. We had a nice approach, gave him food. He was in front with us like for half an hour. And we were all petting him, even the hairdresser that was here. But this is just bad. Okay, let's try it a little bit more. want to check if this can thing can like fall off I think that it can't and if he tries so he is kind of powerless but again if this dog is, was young I wouldn't think twice about bringing him to the vet. Ah. <sighs> 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 
Dobra, laki, laki. Dobra, laki. Dobra. Katastrofa, da. Sam sklučen. Ilazi. Jeste, jeste. Čipone, 2012. rođe. Da, da je zgodno. Stigo sam ja. Stigo sam. Ja držim, držim ovako, šta da radim, moram. Stigo sam. So, we tried everything. Gortana was also here to help. But, you know, he just so, so afraid and because of that aggressive that we contacted the veterinarian and they said that they're gonna give him a light sedation and that everything will be alright. It's not the complete anesthesia, you know, so because it is the only option, we have to take that hair off, we're just going to take him to the car and get him to the vet and finish the groom there. Uh, we just finished at the veterinarian. As you can see, he looks much better now. He has a heart form, he has Erlichia and he has Giardia. And he also has some bumps that might be tumors, <clears throat> we don't know uh, because we're waiting for the results and that's it we're going to take him to the new home he still has that plastic around his head because it was very hard to groom him the vet added little sedation by little so he would not harm him and everything went okay but one, what concerns me the most except for medical condition is his behavior we don't know how he will how he will you know behave with the other dogs as you can see he does not have all of the dreads anymore we're going to take that plastic 
once he is in temporary home because getting him in the car and out of the car is very difficult and he gets aggressive so we're not taking that off until he uh, until we get there so <clears throat> the grooming was successful we're going to start the therapy we bought you know Dovitzin and Pronizon so we're starting the therapy for Erlichia and the heartworm and he's going to get Ivermectin in, few, in a few days and like in one week we're going to start treating the Giardia and we also gave him Fiprist against fleas and ticks we're not giving him a bath because you know it's very hard to do that now and that's not his biggest concern and that's it we'll keep you posted about this dog again this is a 10 year old dog that is totally blind that he has some health issues and we're hoping for the best Bravo, lucky. Thank you.